the topic of today's discussion is elongation due to self weight so till now we have studied that the stress is generated when we have some external forces we have neglected the effect of the weight of the body there are stresses that are generated due to self weight we know about the principle of superposition in which the stress developed by two different forces can be combined together their effect can be combined together so if this is the p1 is external force and there are some other forces so at any section the combined effect of the forces can be considered by the analysis done using the independent forces so here also if we consider the self weight and we find out the stress generated in the body due to self weight then we can add it to any stress that is generated due to external forces now let's consider a bar that is fixed from the top and it is having a as cross section area then l is the total length so this is the parameter l w is small w is weight per unit volume of the bar capital w is weight of the whole bar that will be small w into area of cross section into l so this is the volume of the bar so weight per unit volume into volume will give me the total weight of the bar so now in the figure you can see that this is the cross section area so this is the area a on this bar there is no external force so we consider only the effect of its own weight so let's assume a small section a very small section of thickness delta x so on this thickness of material there will be the weight of the material that is of length x so on this section you can say on this small section whatever load is present is due to the weight that is below this so this area you can say this area so we know that the formula for extension is we generally write it and i am discussing about the general formula that is extension is pl by a e so now if i if i adopt this formula for the present case so change in length of the element delta x will be due to the weight of the bar of length x divided by cross section area length of the section is delta x by e so this will be given by small w into cross section area so this is the value of wx wx is equal to so this is weight per unit volume this is volume of the bar below the delta x section that is this much 
portion. So this much portion of the bar will have the weight Wx. So its volume is area of cross section into height. So I can write here Wax into delta x from the above formula only a into e. So from here a will get cancelled and this comes out to be w x delta x by e. So this is the extension for a small section of length delta x. So now if I want to find out extension of the whole rod so that will be integration from 0 to l so here integration is of x x is 0 here as i move up i am moving this this element from 0 to the length top that is here top that is at L, at the distance L. So I am varying x from 0 to L. So I will get in the integration. So when I integrate it and put the limits, so I will, so I get the term W L square by 2E. And if I rearrange some terms for the further analysis, I can also write it W. I just added one area here. So I can also write this as capital W into L by 2AE. This is the formula for the elongation that a material undergoes due to its own weight. So now you can also analyze from this formula that this elongation is half of the elongation if the same load W is applied at the lower end. So let's suppose that if this is a bar of same parameters L cross section area A and if there is a weight of W is attached at the free end. So then there will be the extension of W L by AE. You can compare this formula with this so you can see that the elongation due to self weight is half of the elongation due to the same weight if applied externally. So this is about the elongation due to self weight. So you need to remember this or you can drive also at the time of the use of this formula.